11th Avenue, Manhattan, from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia, at www.wikipedia.org. 11th Avenue is a north-south thoroughfare on the far west side of the borough of Manhattan in New York City, located near the Hudson River. 11th Avenue originates in the Meatpacking District in the Greenwich Village and West Village neighborhoods at Gansevoort Street, where 11th Avenue, 10th Avenue, and West Street intersect. It is considered part of the West Side Highway between 22nd and Gansevoort Streets. Between 59th and 107th Streets, the avenue is known as West End Avenue. Both West End Avenue and 11th Avenue are considered to be part of the same road. Description Between Gansevoort Street and West 22nd Street, 11th Avenue is part of the West Side Highway, a very wide expressway. At a split with 12th Avenue West Side Highway at West 22nd Street, 11th Avenue continues as a standard width avenue. Following the split, 11th Avenue is two-way traffic for access to 23rd Street as well as for 24th Street to access Chelsea Piers. North of 24th Street, 11th Avenue is one-way southbound from 24th to 34th Streets, where two-way traffic resumes for access to the Lincoln Tunnel. The segment between approximately 39th and 59th Streets is home to the largest concentration of auto dealerships in Manhattan. 11th Avenue again becomes one-way southbound between 40th and 44th Streets. Two-way traffic resumes north of 44th Street. The portion north of 59th Street is called West End Avenue, which has mixed commercial and residential use. The northern two miles, 3.2 kilometers, are a sedate Upper West Side residential street ending at Strauss Park, 107th Street, and Broadway. Traffic is bi-directional except for the northernmost block, north of 106th Street. History The West Side Line of the New York Central Railroad once had on-street running along part of 11th Avenue, which, along with 10th Avenue, became known as Death Avenue because of the large number of deaths that occurred due to train-pedestrian collisions. In 1929, the city, the state, and New York Central agreed on the West Side Improvement Project, conceived by Robert Moses allocated funds for an elevated railway which would eliminate the grade crossings and alleviate the problems along 10th and 11th Avenues. It also included construction of the West Side Elevated Highway. Meanwhile, the Avenue's West End Avenue section was originally created in the 1880s as the northern extension of 11th Avenue and was intended to be a commercial street serving the residents of the mansions to be constructed along Riverside Drive. When West End Avenue was named in the 1880s, the Upper West Side was fairly sparsely populated, and that upper portion of the avenue subsequently was called the West End because of its separation from the core of the city. Seeking to distinguish the area from the factories and tenements below 59th Street, a group of real estate developers renamed the northern portions of the West Side's avenues. Portions of both West End Avenue and 11th Avenue were run down in the mid-20th century, with single-room occupancy hotels, prostitutes, and drug addicts a common sight. The city's economic comeback in the 1980s brought recovery and gentrification. The upper portion of the avenue retains stretches of late 19th century townhouses and several handsome churches and synagogues, but is almost entirely made up of handsome residential buildings, about 12 stories tall, built in the first decades of the 20th century. The near total absence of retail on that part of the street marks its quiet residential character, as opposed to the high traffic noisy character of 11th Avenue. Architecture The architecture of buildings on 11th and West End Avenues differs significantly. West End Avenue is noteworthy for its almost unbroken street wall of handsome apartment buildings punctuated by brief stretches of 19th century townhouses and several handsome churches and synagogues. Notable architecturally historicist houses of worship include Anche Chesed in Byzantine Revival style, St. Ignatius of Antioch Episcopal Church in English Gothic Revival style, West End Collegiate Church in Dutch Colonial, a subset of Renaissance Revival style, and Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church. Among the more notable apartment buildings are the Apthorpe, Cleburne Building at 105th Street, and 520 West End Avenue, the former Leach Mansion, which is now landmarked. 11th Avenue, meanwhile, is lined with New Age residential buildings, such as 111th Avenue, adjacent to warehouses and car dealerships. Between 34th and 59th Streets, there are a lot of car dealerships. Mercedes-Benz is located across from the westbound Lincoln Tunnel Portal, 
and BMW and Lexus at the intersection with West 57th Street. Manhattan Motor Cars at 270 11th Avenue sells many brands of luxury and sports cars. Other companies with dealerships on the avenue include Audi, Honda, Jaguar, Jeep Chrysler Dodge, Mazda, Nissan, and Toyota. As well, numerous vehicle service stations, car washes, and car rental lots are found along this stretch. This area has served the transport trade for more than a hundred years. Most of the stables for New York's remaining horse cabs are located on its side streets, though many now store taxis and pedicabs. It is not uncommon to hear the clip-clop of horses in the vicinity as a result. The carriage horses live in historic stables, originally built in the 19th century, but today boast the latest in barn design, such as fans, misting systems, box stalls, and state-of-the-art sprinkler systems. As horses always have in densely populated urban areas, the carriage horses live upstairs in their stables while the carriages are parked below on the ground floor. Historic Districts One historic district lies on 11th Avenue, the West Chelsea Historic District, designated in 2008. Two segments of West End Avenue lie within designated New York City Historic Districts, both sides of the avenue from West 87th to West 94th Streets can be found in the Riverside West End Historic District. The west side of the avenue from West 75th Street through mid-block between West 78th and West 79th Streets and the east side between West 76th and West 77th Streets are contained within the West End Collegiate Historic District. Concern over building demolition filings for the demolition of three row houses and a six-story elevator apartment building at the southwest corner of West End Avenue and West 86th Streets spurred a grassroots effort to seek historic district designation for the entire stretch north of Lincoln Towers from West 70th to West 107th Streets. On March 18, 2009, the West End Avenue Preservation Society formally submitted a request for evaluation to the chair of the city's Landmarks Preservation Commission, along with the 260-page survey prepared by Andrew Dulcart. Points of interest Points of interest on or within one block of 11th Avenue include 3 Hudson Boulevard at 34th, 35th Streets, 15 Hudson Yards and Attached Culture Shed at 30th Street, 35 Hudson Yards at 33rd Street, 55 Hudson Yards between 33rd and 34th Streets, 111th Avenue, designed by Jean Nouvel, 211th Avenue, corner of West 24th Street, designed by Annabelle Seldorf, includes apartments with a sky garage, allowing cars to be parked directly outside the apartment. Chelsea Market, between 9th and 10th Avenues and 15th and 16th Streets, one block east of 11th Avenue. Chelsea Piers, from 18th to 23rd Streets, along the West Side Highway segment of 11th Avenue. Comedy Central, former studios of the Colbert Report at 54th Street, and studios of The Daily Show at 51st Street. Former Copacabana Nightclub at 34th Street, now at 47th Street in Midtown, former site occupied by a subway entrance as of 2014. DeWitt Clinton Park, between 52nd Street and 54th Street. The High Line, roughly parallel to 11th Avenue from Gansevoort Street to 34th Street. The Hudson River Park, parallel to 11th Avenue from 11th Street to 22nd Street, also manages the Chelsea Waterfront Park on the west side of 11th Avenue between 22nd and 24th Streets. IAC Building at 19th Street. The Jacob K. Javits Convention Center between 34th and 39th Streets. Michael J. Quill Bus Depot of the MTA at 41st Street. Pier 57 at 15th Street, Silver Towers at 41st, 42nd Streets, Starrett Lehigh Building at 26th, 27th Streets, and the Whitney Museum of American Art at Gansevoort Street. Points of interest on or within one block of West End Avenue include Abraham Joshua Heschel School's High School Division at 60th Street, Calhoun School between 80th and 81st Streets, Collegiate School between 77th and 78th Streets, Lincoln Towers between 66th and 70th Streets, with all buildings having West End Avenue addresses, Pomander Walk between 95th and 96th Streets, Riverside Park, one block west of West End Avenue, north of 72nd Street, and Strauss Park between 106th and 107th Streets. Mass Transit 
11th Avenue has been served by the New York City Subway's 7 Express and 7 Local trains, built as part of the 7 Subway extension at a station under the avenue at 34th Street since September 2015. The New York City bus's M12 route has served the avenue since September 2014. Plans for the bus route were formulated in early 2014. Notable residents. Notable current and former residents include Judy Collins, born 1939, folk singer and songwriter, resides at 845 West End Avenue. Domenico Dolce is a noted resident of 211th Avenue. Tina Fey, born 1970, former SNL cast member and creator of NBC's 30 Rock, lives on West End Avenue near 80th Street. Joseph Heller, born 1923, died in 1990, wrote Catch-22 while living at 390 West End Avenue. Elena Kagan, born 1960, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, grew up on West End Avenue and 75th Street. Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban live at 211th Avenue. Jesse L. Lasky, born 1880, died 1958. The theatrical and burlesque producer lived at 601 West End Avenue. Madeleine Langle, born 1918, died 2007. Author, wrote A Wrinkle in Time and its sequels while living in the Cleburne Building at 924 West End Avenue. Economist Ludwig von Mises, born 1881, died 1973, lived at 777 West End Avenue. Anna Netrebko, born 1971, operatic soprano, has an apartment on the 32nd floor of 10 West End Avenue. Estelle Parsons lived in the Cleburne Building. Norman Podoretz and Midge Dekter. Sergei Rachmaninoff, born 1873, died 1943, lived at 505 West End Avenue. The rural mansion of Isidore Strauss and Ida Strauss was located between West End and Broadway at 105th, on the site of the present Cleburne Building. Loren Scott, who died in early 2014, lived in 211th Avenue up to her death. Charlie Smalls, composer of The Wiz, and novelist Herman Wouk lived at 845 West End Avenue during his college years. In popular culture, The Prince of West End Avenue, a novel by Alan Isler, is based on West End Avenue. The Mirror Has Two Faces, a film starring and directed by Barbara Streisand, was set in an apartment at 505 West End Avenue. Way Out West on West End Avenue, a song by Richard Rogers and Lawrence Hart, introduced in the 1937 musical Babes in Arms, was set along West End Avenue. The IAC building on 11th Avenue is featured in the movie The Other Guys, as well as Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. The opening scene in the Will Smith movie Hitch takes place with Smith exiting a 865 West End Avenue apartment building. This audio was recorded on November 9th, 2018. To report an error or request a change, please send an email to wikiaudio999 at gmail.com.